Well, joining us now to talk about what he calls the biggest elephant in the room is Europe. And also, one of his rare longs in the market, Microsoft. Is Bill Fleckenstein is joining us. Founder and president of Fleckenstein Capital, Dominic, is here with us as well. And, uh, Bill, you know, you, you've been on this program several times. We've talked about Microsoft. Uh, I want to get your take. What do you make of all this buzz about Microsoft possibly joining with some others to bid for Yahoo? I'm going to get your take on this. Well, I, I suppose it's conceivable. I doubt that they'd, they'd buy the whole thing. I don't really think there's any reason that they would need to do that. Um, I, I, you know, Microsoft and Ballmer are still wearing a black eye from almost having bought Yahoo once before at what looks to be a, a, a ridiculous price. Right. Um, and, and, and so, therefore, they don't get credit for the things that are going well, of which th there's a lot there uh, at Microsoft where things are going well. So. Uh, I think because the stock has done poorly, uh, people are, are, are mad at Balmer. And it's cheap, but other big cap stocks are cheap too. So I, I think it's a, partly a function of the market. And Balmer gets a little extra blame than perhaps, that he perhaps doesn't deserve. Well, I mean, I, 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 I'm glad you bring that up because Microsoft, you know, among the big tech names, has been, you know, quite a big laggard, you know, compared to others. And it's lagged the S&P overall um, and lagged other tech shares. So, uh, Bill, I mean, you, you say Balmer doesn't deserve as much of that blame of, of not increasing, increasing shareholder value as much. But uh, could he have done other things, though, to, to, to get that catalyst or light the fire under the stock? Well, well, nearly every division they have is doing well, with the exception of, of say, search, and they're, they're getting that incrementally better. They had this huge success with uh, Connect, and they get, you know, no one talks about that. They buy back shares, they up the dividend. I don't know what more he could do. Now, some people would say that if he would resign, that would be great, and and maybe that would get the stock a bump, a couple of bucks. But Microsoft, as a business, is executing rather well, I think. They, did, but we, you know, we see this in the market, uh, you know, quite regularly. Companies that are doing crummy are still high, flying high. Um, companies that are doing well don't get any credit. Then the then the perception changes. I don't know what the catalyst will be to change that perception, mm. but it'll change.